Well, I'm back out of the cattle sheds again, hoping to see if I can get a few birds stealing meal from the cattle troughs. I've noticed a few birds coming to that mobile feeder at the bottom of the yard there when I arrived at the farm. So I decided to uh, sit down behind this uh, straw bale and see if I can get one or two. Now I haven't got long here because the farmers want to move uh, cattle into this shed, but we'll sit and wait and see what we get in the short time we have. I'm using my uh, BSA Super 10 and .22 caliber. I get it loaded and ready to shoot. But uh, I have to be careful here because the gate in front of me is almost in line with the barrel of the rifle. And it's not long before a, a bird arrives. He's about 35 yards. And I take him my heart and lung shot. Reload. And very shortly later a second bird arrives. Again, I have to be careful of the gate in front of me, so I line the crosshairs up and then look down the side of the barrel to make sure it's going to clear the bar in front of me. When I think I've got a good shot, I aim for the head. And drop him. The rest of the birds go a wee bit nuts at this point, but uh, unfortunately none of them land in a place where I can get a shot at them. Not everything around a farmyard is called vermin or looked upon as a pest and it's very nice to watch some of these smaller songbirds like this little robin tackle a bit of uh, meal that's a little bit too big for him well I've been waiting what half to three quarters of an hour and I can hear the farmer in the yard behind me moving about so I decided to go down and uh, see what I've shot. The first bird I left here, that's the second bird I actually shot. I went for the headshot, but the pellet dropped a wee bit lower than I expected, striking the uh, bird in the base of the neck, snapping the spinal cord and causing an instant kill, where the bird dropped dead where it was. And the second bird over here, that was the first bird I shot. I went for heart and lung shot. The shot was perfect. But uh, as can happen with a heart and lung shot, the bird managed to get a good maybe 10-15 feet away from the uh, point of impact where I shot him before he uh, expired. This next clip's really more of a comedy of errors as uh, I noticed a rat coming in and out of this hole as I dandered around the farm. So I decided to wait and watch and see if I got an opportunity at him. And sure enough, Mr. Ratty appears at the hole again. So I very gingerly bring the rifle up into my shoulder. Take aim, he's only about 10 yards away. And realise the rifle's not cocked. So again I very gingerly cocked the rifle while it was still in my shoulder. Took aim again. Leveled the crosshairs on his head. Squeezed the trigger and no pellet. The magazine was empty. Ah oh dear, what an idiot. Oh well, just the two magpies today, but it's two less to be bothering with the farmer and stealing the meal out of the troughs. <laughs>